Hello all and welcome back to my next video on PowerPoint VBA series and in this video we are going to see how to customize VB editor and how to protect your VBA code to avoid any kind of misuse. Before we start, I request all the viewers to please subscribe, like and share this video and show support to my channel. So let's get started with customizing the VB editor. Let's first open the VB editor and then see why there is a need to customize it. Let me insert a module and type a sample VBA code. Again, don't worry about this program. We will learn everything in upcoming videos. This is just a simple three line VBA program and it displays a message with the help of inbuilt message box. The second line that you see is not actually a code. In fact, it is a comment line. And in VBA, we add comments by beginning any line with a single code symbol. Few things to notice here in this VBA code. First, font is very small and it is not a good practice to look at such small fonts for obvious reasons. Second, for me personally, the default font used in VBA editor is not that encouraging to write any codes. Third, it is not easy to identify keywords and functions which are inbuilt in VBA library because of same color code. So for these obvious reasons, it is important to customize the VB editor and then ease our programming experience. So to do that, let's go to tools menu and then click on options. Select the second tab on the top which is editor format. In this section, we will go through each type of text, set their font type, font size and their colors and VBA provides only these set of colors to choose from. Every change we make, we will be able to see the sample here in the sample box. So let's start with the normal text which is the font type of our VBA editor. Set any font type of your choice. Make it size to tall for the sake of better visibility and change its font color to black. Let's not change the selection text and let the syntax error be in red color. Let's jump next to the keyword text and then change its color to blue. Identifier text, let's make it pink. And then click on OK. And now you will be able to see the difference between previous editor and the customized editor. Next we will see how to lock your VB editor. Any code that you write in VB editor it is always a good practice to lock it with a password to avoid its misuse. So to lock the VBA editor, let's go to tools menu and then click on VBA project properties. Select the production tab on the top and then type in your password in the first field. Reconfirm it in the second field. Remember both the fields must be same. Then enable lock project for viewing option on the top. Then click on OK and it will be in effect after we close and reopen this file. Let's save and close this file. Double click to open it and then open the VB editor. Now if you try to open this module, it will ask for the password. So that's how you can protect your VBA code. So that's all I wanted to cover in this video and stay tuned for next VBA tutorial. Thanks for watching.